Before I start this lecture, let me tell you, you need not to worry about the processes involved in getting this output since I will teach you everything making label heading of your choice, printing output in your own way, printing descriptor portions using pro contents. For the time being, just relax. I am covering up this because these basics are important especially for interview and your knowledge. SAS datasets. In order to analyze our data, SAS application must read our data into a SAS dataset. A SAS dataset is a file containing that have two parts, a descriptor portion and a data portion. In this lecture, we will be talking about this program. The descriptor portion of a SAS dataset contains the vital statistics of the dataset such as name of the dataset, date and time that the dataset was created number of observations and the number of variables. As you can see, the name of the dataset grid is present here, the date of creation, the number of observations, that is number of rows, number of variables, that is number of columns, can be seen from the descriptive portion of a SAS dataset. The data portion of a SAS dataset is a collection of data values that are arranged in a rectangular table. As you can see, this is our data portion. SAS dataset is comprised of variables that is column and observations that is rows. Variables are collections of data values that describe a particular characteristic of the thing being measured. A SAS dataset can store thousands of variables. Observations are collections of data values that typically relate to one particular object. A SAS dataset can store any number of observations. In this example, we have six observations and five variables that is subject, gender, exam 1, exam 2 and homework grade. SAS variables. You might have noticed two type of variables being used in dataset portion that is character and numeric variables. The six attributes that SAS stores in the descriptor portion of a every SAS dataset are the variables name, the variables type, the variables length, the variables format, the variables in format and the variables label. As you can see that it is mandatory to have these first three attributes whereas the next three are optional. For our current program you can see that we have only used the first three so we have got variable name, its type and length whereas if I have used this program with label statement then I would have got label attribute as well. That's it. See you in next lecture.